Hello everybody, welcome to another Platanos tutorial on Platanos and today we're gonna be rigging Rick from Rick and Morty so it's pretty exciting uh, let's let's go do the example here so by the end of this tutorial you should be able or, or rather a series it's gonna be a series of tutorials because rigging takes forever so uh, for this part of the tutorial we're only gonna learn how to do blinking and the eyes okay so let me show you what the head rig looks like when you know when it's sort of finished you know so you should have something like this by the end of this series of tutorials so we have the pupils here pupil control we have a head control where he can turn his head to the side up and down so it's it's kind of like 3d but in a 2d way if that makes sense so anyway we have the blink control right where we can make him blink if we want to or we can make him uh, um, you know look uh, angry or uh, bored or annoyed you know it is very uh, what do you call that useful I guess anyway uh, you should be able by the end of this series of tutorials you should be able to have a fully functional rig rig basically so this is going to be the first one of a series. So anyway, let's get started. As you can see here, I've made I already made a composition just to save us some time, right? With and again, uh, the project file is going to be in the description under the video and links to everything. So for this tutorial, you're going to need two plugins, joysticks and sliders and Duik, okay. Uh, Duik is free, so no problem there. And again, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can get it. And joystick and sliders. Now for that one, you have to pay. I believe is 30 something bucks, maybe 35, 36, something like that. But it is very useful. It is worth its weight in gold. Let me tell you. So anyway, let's get started. Hopefully you got those plugins ready to go. And as you can see here, I've made all the assets in After Effects with uh, shape layers, basically, with the pen tool. So we have everything uh, separated into assets, and everything's named and color-coded. So we're good to go. Um, you know what? Let's, let's just dive right into it. So to make him blink, we're going to need to make eyelids. So let's name this eyelid lid dot r because it's, it's on the right side it's going to be the right eyelid and color coded to green and let's put it right over the eye here uh, you know what let's turn our guide off so we can see what we're doing here and now if we select the eye shape and hopefully you have this exact uh, same copy of the project so you can follow along so let's duplicate this right and name it matte and uh, color code it to yellow so we can follow along and uh, press on the lid and change it to alpha matte and as you can see now it's starting to look more like an eyelid and if we click on the matte and turn the stroke off boom now that looks more like an eyelid and we can move it up and down so let's duplicate this right and name it under lid for you know for the lower lid and boom let's move move it down basically because it's gonna be below and now we can duplicate these two lids over and move them to the other side or the right eye basically uh, the left eye and let's duplicate this too and name it high L because it's going to be on the left. It's very important to, uh, when you're rigging, it's very important to name everything, uh, color code everything, so you don't get lost, you know, because you can end up with a bunch of layers, a bunch of shapes. It, you know, it gets complicated, so it's very useful to uh, remain organized. So let's name this L and let's name this L as well. So under lid, left to left, and let's move them to the left. Oh, we already did that. 
So let's select the eye here, duplicate it, name it again, name it matte, and change the layer to yellow. And boom. Now we should have another lid. There we go. Let's do the same thing for the under lid. Uh, you know what? Let's just select this one, duplicate it, bring it down here, and it's already set to alpha matte. So now that we have all of our lids here, let's um, let's basically shy these mats so you know so the our composition remains a little bit more clean right we're gonna get rid of the stuff we don't need to animate for now so it's gonna look something like this and you know what let's just dive right into it uh, shorten the timeline right to the frame right and let's keyframe our position and then pressing page down on our keyboard we move to the next keyframe right and select them all and press paste origin on the joystick and sliders plugin. And again, guys, hopefully uh, you can afford to get the you know the joysticks plugin. If you can't, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make a tutorial on how to make you know how to rig this without the plugins. So uh, anyway, let's get back into it and select the the right lid right bring it down and I think that's it for this keyframe and we'll go to the next one select all of them again and paste origin and let's go to the left lid and bring it all the way down next keyframe over pressing the paste down on our keyboard paste origin again and this time we're gonna do the under lid or the you know the right under lid let's bring it up sweet and selecting all of them again paste origin it can get repetitive at times so the under lid but this time the left one we're gonna bring it up now let's double check all of our keyframes and if you press J and K on your keyboard so J to go backwards and K to go forward on your uh, it toggles between your keyframes basically so it's a way faster way to check everything so anyway we have it seems like we have a working animation here so let's select all of them all of our uh, lids and let's create a new slider so we click on the slider side create a new slider and we're gonna name it blink control sweet now we should have under under the blink control we should have a bunch of sliders and let's name them all name everything so lid uh, R because it's the right one and then lid L under lid uh -huh, da, 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 R and then under lid L cool so now let's check that it works actually there we go that's looking good and then select the lower ones yep that works and if we select all of them we can make them blink cool now let's move this um, to another comp so we have the rig rig <laughs> that's fun to say rig rig bring it down and make a new comp and let's name this the main rig okay so main rig composition so now we go back to our rig rig composition and if we go under the sliders plugging down here we select main rig right and then we click on move so that's gonna move our control to the main rig to you know to the main rig composition and it should work with no problems so let's select all of them, double check that it works. Cool. And we can name this blink. Cool. And again, we create a text here so that we know what the controller does, basically. Because, you know, once 
once you're done with the rig, it's gonna, you're going to have a bunch of controllers here. So it's very useful to have text layers that lets us, lets us know what everything does. So, cool. And uh, again, what I did, which is type out blink, right click, set it up as a guide layer so when you render everything it doesn't show up. And then I parent it by pig whipping. Parent it to the brink control. Alright, so we're halfway there guys. We've got the blink control going on. And now we're gonna do the pupils. So let's go over here, select both of our pupils and keyframe the position. And if we go with page down, we go to the next keyframe and we want to move them to the right. And that will be screen left. It can get very confusing. But anyway, now we got our pupils moving here. Uh, let's go page down to the next keyframe. Again, paste origin, and we're going to move them the other way. Same deal, I'm going to go to the next keyframe, paste origin, move them up. Next keyframe, paste origin, and we move them down. So now, if you toggle between your keyframes, it should look something like this. He looks right, he looks left, he looks up, and he looks down. So now that we have that, let's select both of our pupils and we go over to the joysticks side of the plugin and we create new joystick and name it eye control. Cool. Alright, now that we have that, you know, let's move it to the side here. Actually, you know what, let's just go down here again and move the controller. Oh, actually, you gotta select it. Duh. So move it to the next uh, composition. So now we have it in our main comp. So let's check that it works, basically. Yeah, you can see if we move it around, we have fully working uh, pupils. But now we have one problem. When he looks all the way, you can see that the pupils are getting away, you know, or out of the eyeball, and that is not normal. So we're going to fix that right now. And the way we fix it is we select the eye, the eye shape rather, of the eyeball, that's what you call it. Duplicate it, we name it matte and change it to something else or you know some other color so that we know. And then we click on the pupil and we select alpha matte, right? And now that we've done that, it should cover that issue, see? Now when he looks it's not going to go beyond that eyeball. So let's do the same thing for the other um, pupil. Duplicate that eye, name it Matt, and we shall name it Matt. Destroyer of Barbarians or something. I don't know. Alright, now that we got that, see? Sweet. Fully, fully, Jesus. Fully working pupils. And if we select the lid control, we have blinking. He is blinking. Cool. I think this is a good spot to uh, stop the tutorials. And I'll see you on the next part of this series. And we're gonna, by the time we're done with this series, we should have a fully working rig rick. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button and join the monkey family. Oh, and if you'd like to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. Go ahead. We'll wait.